Today on The Truth Report, Dr. Kadar explains the Iran situation, what the solutions are, and what his predictions are. Dr. Kadar is a world-famous expert on terrorism and the Arab-Israeli conflict, has lectured literally thousands of times to the troops and various academic institutions across Israel and elsewhere in the world. The Iranians understood that America became a, a paper tiger, so they renewed their nuclear program in 2006. Okay? So as long as, this wa as there was some kind of a threat, and they believed that this threat might be realized, so they didn't do anything. Once they understood that there is no threat, they continued. So this is a regime which works only upon threats. So tell me, from the Israeli point of view, is the Iran nuclear program active today? Look, only today it was published that, um, that Iran, during the time since the agreement was signed in 2015, had some 173 attempts to acquire materials and technologies which are banned by this, by this agreement. It's not one and not two, not 10, not 20, not even 100. Okay, so what does it mean? That they are serious about this or not? Okay, so the answer is too obvious. <laughs> of course. So, what, 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 do you, what, do you, what do you need more? And, and you know, Israel is kept warning that these people do not want anything but the money in order to continue to devastate the Middle East, the Arab Middle East. First of all, because they hate the Arabs. Persians hate Arabs tremendously. You have no idea how much. Secondly, they are Shia and they want to topple the Sunni world. Saudi Arabia and Jordan and the Emirates and, and, and the, the, the Sunni parts of Iraq and, and in Syria, of course. And, the, and this is why they poured uh, uh, jet oil in Yemen, in Iraq, in Syria, and they encouraged Hezbollah, another terror organization, which is their, their long tentacle uh, in, in, in Lebanon. So definitely they are on their way to occupy the northern part of the Arab world, Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon in order to have like a grip around Saudi Arabia with Yemen in the south and in the middle, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel and the Emirates. This is their world view of their uh, grip around the Sunni uh, Mashrik, the, the eastern part of the Arab world. And unfortunately, America, during the years of Obama, accepted it and in my view, encouraged it. Maybe Obama thought that the eastern part of the Arab world will be Shia under Iran. The western, uh, from Egypt to the west, North Africa, will be Sunni. And this way, they will be separated by Israel in the middle. And this is how peace will come to the Arab world. The Shia will be there, the Sunnah will be there, and peace will be there. But in meanwhile, you have to send dozens of millions of Sunnis. And this is actually what Iran wants to do, to ethnic Cleanse. cleanse Syria and Iraq in order to send all the Sunnis out to Europe, to America, and let the Europeans and the Americans deal with them. Let me ask you, the, the question that is starting to leak into the West is the understanding of the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, it seems the Sunni Arabs in the Middle East are becoming Israel's friends in in a crazy world where it's Arab and Jew against Persian. Is that truly happening? Well, this, this is a process which started like five years ago when the Arabs like uh, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, Emirates started to be more afraid from Iran than they are afraid from Israel. This is where, they, where this uh, paradigm started to shift. Well, you've got the crazy factor in Iran that they can't predict. They don't, they're not afraid of Israel trying to conquer Jordan. Not at all. However, you should always remember that the Middle East politics are actually built on sand dunes. And the sand dunes are changing their position according to the wind. In Hebrew we say matzav ruach. Means uh, what somebody who thinks that we might save him today or help him today, tomorrow might change it when the situation will change. Look, in my view, Iran lives on a borrowed time. Iran is, Iran is a state, because Iran is an artificial state. It, the population of Iran is a conglomerate of like 30 
three zero ethnic groups, Persians who are more or less half of the population, Azeris, Baloch, um, uh, Kurds, Arabs, um, Kashkais, Loris, many many others who you never you never heard about. And not only this, the Baloch and the Kurds are Sunnis, and they are fighting for freedom. Nobody knows because they don't allow journalists to go to these districts. But definitely there is a war, especially in the Baloch uh, district in southeast Iran. They fight. And the Arabs in the Ahwaz uh, area along the Persian Gulf are actually oppressed by the Persians. And by the way, all the, Arab, uh, all the Persian oil and gas comes from under the feet of the Arabs. But they see nothing go out of it. Only the pollution. Only the pollution. The air pollution. So this is actually what happens in Iran. And Iran as a state is illegitimate in the eyes of most of the people as a, as a regime and as a state. And many of them, especially those who are not Muslims, like the Zoroastrians, want, want independence, want, want to be released from this occupation of the Iran, not, not to mention the Azeris in the north. You know, even the Azeri ancient capital city was occupied by Iran, Tabriz. Today it's part of Iran. But there are Azeris, are not Persians. So, what I'm saying is that Iran, actually as a state, lives on a borrowed time. Because a day will come and the Iranian spring, if to say, will start and groups will demand uh, freedom, independence, autonomy. I don't know exactly what, but this is something which is inevitably will come. It could take a year, five, ten, twenty years, I have no idea. Even the Soviet Union, the same problem. It was also a conglomerate of ethnic groups, Kazakhis and Uzbekis and, 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 and Ukrainians and others. And one day came and it collapsed to the truth. Right. Look what happens today in Spain with the Catalanis. They demand freedom because or independence or autonomy, I don't know. And what happened with the Basques? Beforehand, the Scots in, in, in the United Kingdom, United, you know, <laughs> Kingdom, Czechoslovakia was divided, Yugoslavia was divided uh, to some states. So, definitely the same thing will happen in Iran. I have absolutely no doubt. The problem is, what will be until then? And when, when? And when, doctor? And when? And when? And what price it will, it will cost to those uh, freedom seekers or freedom uh, fighters in Iran? who will fight. Look, in 2009, in the, what, what was called the Green, the Green Revolution, after Ahmadinejad stole the elections, you know, there were many, many demonstrations in, in, in the streets of many cities in Iran. And the Ayatollahs, later it was found out, the Ayatollahs actually prepared two jumbo jets with already with the fuel in order to run away. Really? Yes. That never got in the press. Well, it was. Not in the West. I don't know. The Ayatollahs <laughs> were afraid that if the upheaval becomes uh, too problematic for them, they will have to run away. Otherwise, they will be slaughtered by the mass. And uh, but fortunately for them, they succeeded to. Well, the West to, did nothing to help. Of course, when when you know when the American president of those days, Obama, says nothing, uh, so they felt that uh, they can do whatever they like without any restriction, and. Uh, and actually, this is what happened. But uh, they actually were afraid that they will have to run away in order to keep their heads connected to their shoulders. So uh, this is uh, what. So it can repeat itself in a year or two or five. I have no idea, but it will happen. Well, I want to reserve the right to come back and ask you in the next year or two. See how your prediction worked. Dr. Goddard, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us on Because You Asked. You can always contact me at barry at americantruthproject.org or go to our website where you can send a question, make comments, and you can always sign up for free so you never miss an important episode.